Days of Service, sponsored by Duval Motor Company. He left his home as a young boy and became a man while he served our country. This week's Stories of Service focuses on a man whose life of service continued after leaving the military. The ward that I was assigned to had quite a few veterans from the South Pacific. Kenneth Plummer enlisted in the Navy and served on a hospital ship after the surrender of Japan in 1945. And my first patient was a Marine that had been uh, paralyzed from about here down by a sniper bullet. He served on the USS Consolation and tended to his patient every two hours to prevent bed sores. There were other sailors out there in the ward that were, had serious injuries. I always felt privileged to be able to take care of them. Plummer served in the Navy for three years. And that's about the, the most official picture I got in my uniform. In 1957, he suited up in a different uniform while taking a job with the Jacksonville Police Department, which would become JSO post-consolidation. Plummer served in a variety of roles and eventually joined JSO's aviation division and flew planes to transport inmates. He was married to his wife for 74 years, has children, grandchildren, and even a few great-great-grandchildren. But while taking some time to look back through life's pictures, there was one consistent message. I grew up in the Navy. I matured in the Navy. Thanks to Mr. Plummer for his service to our country and the county. If you have a story of service that you would like us to profile, please send us an email to storiesofservice at firstcoastnews.com.